Hello, this is Hoffman Trifle Productions with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can get fast renders in Blender uh, by using the Poly Render Pro add on. It's an add on I have to pay for, but for the price, it's not that bad. I'm using it in Blender uh, 3.4, uh, but I've seen it can be used in 3.4 all the way up to 4.0 and 4.1, I think. But I'm using Blender 3.4 myself. And I'll leave a link of it uh, below the video. You can now load yourself and check it out. But the installation process is still the same. Go to Edit, Preferences, uh, Install, uh, navigate to where you've downloaded it onto your system. Click on Install Add On. And once you've done that, let me type in Poly. Uh, put a check in the box and just activate it. And it's on the right hand side of the UI Blender, right down there. And this, the interface is pretty straightforward, pretty simple. You can either use it for EV or use it for cycles. Uh, just for the purpose, <clears throat> excuse me, of this tutorial, I'm going to use it for cycles only. And we're going to just set up a quick scene here. It's just going to be a pretty straightforward scene to set up. Click one on our keyboard, click on our move gizmo, left click and drag on the Z axis. Uh, press shift A in our keyboard, click on plane, S to scale it up. And we're going to, let me see, pivot over our middle mouse button. And we're going to change this from EV to cycles. And what I'm going to do, we're going to test it to see how well it actually performs. I've done it already, but I want you guys to see it for yourselves. And I'm going to just set up the, the uh, settings the way I do normally for renders. So change from CPU to GPU. And my samples for the final render are going to be at 128. I'll click on that section there, type in 128 on my keyboard and click enter. And let me change my view here. So click on view. So I want the view that I'm looking at right now. So click on view, go down to line view. And line active camera to view. I'm going to change my uh, world settings to from that grayish color to a sky blue. And then I'm going to click on my cube there and add some material to it. And I'm going to use a, a material add on I've already showcased the Sanctus library. And let me click left click in there and click on that tile. Click on apply. Click on the plane there left click in there and let me choose a different tile set up left click on that click on apply and with all this set up without having to use the poly render add-on we're going to see how long this takes to render it out so i'm going to click on f12 and if it takes too long i'm going to just skip this part and just you know let you guys see the final uh, time it takes up in the corner there so i'm going to press f12 and i'll be right back after this renders out okay we're back and that took about 41 seconds and this is our final render now let's uh, go to slot 2 we want to compare uh, the output not only with the time but with the render itself click on that slot 2 and we're going to close that out and now we're going to click on optimize cycles left click on that and press F12 again, we'll, I'll come back and we'll look at the final render results and the time also, so F12 again, and I'll be right back. And we're back, and that took 26 seconds, so that pretty much almost uh, cut it in half. So let's look at our render results. This is the uh, render of our cube and our scene with the Poly Render Pro add-on applied. And let's look at the first one without the render applied or the add-on applied and it looks pretty much the same so that's pretty impressive so it went from 41 seconds 41.8 seconds to 26.75 seconds with no uh, decrease in the render at all it looks pretty much the same I've seen though with other renders when it comes to reflection and water it does affect the shadow a bit more it makes the shadows a little bit darker with the add-on applied but for the most part it doesn't really make much of a difference it renders faster in half the time and you get the same result for the most part that looks great 
And if we look at um, what it does under the hood, so to speak, I'm going to press Control Z on my keyboard to uh, go back one step. Control Z. And if we go to our render settings here, you see the max sample is 120, which is what we set it to ourselves. It, at first, it was like around 4,000. And our light samples were this. Once we apply the uh, add-on, click on that, it changes everything here to make it run more efficiently, so to speak. So it does a lot of stuff underneath the hood with the light paths and the samples to make the render run faster, but you don't sacrifice at all when it comes to the final result, which is great. And other features that it has is the cleanup here. So if you have uh, materials that aren't being used in your scene or meshes that aren't being used, just press this button and it'll delete all that stuff. Because with Blender, Blender tends to render things that aren't in the scene, which is kind of annoying, but that's what it does sometimes, a lot of, actually all the time. And it increases the render times when it comes to running out their scenes. But with this add-on, it deletes all the materials that aren't being used and the meshes also that aren't being used in your scene, which is great. And it has a, a small light studio. You can click on that and add lights to your scene for like, you know, a, a, a bit of a light studio, which is cool. So with this add-on, I mean, it, it uh, it's a small add-on in size, but it packs a pretty good punch when it comes to running out uh, scenes a lot faster in Blender just by uh, just one click. And, and that's pretty impressive. And that's today's Blender Quick Tip, the Poly Render Pro add-on. And uh, you guys should download yourself and try it out and just check it out because it's really, really nice. And once again, I hope... Uh, You've learned something from the tutorial. And once again, thank you guys for watching. Because uh, it means a lot to me. Because I, you know, it helps you guys and it helps me also. Because I'm learning from it too. Uh, but once again, like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Alright, adios.